हेलो फ्रेंड्स आवर सब्जेक्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हैज प्रैक्टिकल फाइव एग्जीक्यूट प्रोसेस कमांड्स नाउ व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस दैट वी विल सी फर्स्ट वेन एवर वी विल स्टोर एनी प्रोग्राम इन अ फाइल इट इज द प्रोग्राम एंड इट इज द पैसिव एंटिटी एंड वेन वी विल एग्जीक्यूट दैट पर्टिकुलर फाइल इट विल बिकम द प्रोसेस सो द प्रोसेस इज द प्रोग्राम इन एग्जीक्यूशन एंड we can say that the process is the active entity ps command is used to manage and see the active processes on the unix operating system the ps basically means the process status which is used to display currently running processes in unix operating system so the program outcomes that are applicable for this particular practical are the basic knowledge discipline knowledge experiments and practice engineering tools individual and team works and communication and the practical outcome is the execute the process command ps wait sleep exit and kill now we will see first the process command it is also called as the process status command this will display the characteristics of the process that is the terminal number time required for the execution pid that is process identification number and the command name now there are various options available for the ps command that we can check from our man command but we will study these options so the first option is the ps minus f this will give the full listing showing the ppid that is the parent process identification number of each process ps minus u username display the processes of the user of the specified username ps minus a will display the processes of all users ps minus e this will display the processes including the user and the system processes wait command this wait command will wait until all the background processes are completed and then exit so this will not allow the uh, issuing of the new command until the background processes are being executed next is sleep command this is used to execute the commands after certain amount of time by specified Uh, amount of time by sleeping for the given second now for example we will have sleep 10 semicolon ps so the ps command will be executed after 10 seconds so this will let the system sleep for the specified amount of time so the specified command will be executed after the specified amount of time that is it is creating delay in the execution next the exit command this is used to exit from the shell and uh, last command is the kill command this is used to stop the execution of a particular process by sending an interrupt signal to the process kill zero will kill all the processes on the terminal except the login shell by the special argument zero if we will write kill 120 230 234 this will kill three processes with pid 120 230 234 kill minus 9 0 will kill all the processes including the login shell and kill minus 9 dollar dollar will kill all the login shell now we will see how to execute all this command in our linux so here i have done the login with the srb user now i will just issue the command ps so this will give me the first column as the pid that is process identification number this identification number is given by the uh, operating system to that particular process so the first process name is the bash process so the first process name is the bash batch process and uh it, it, the terminal name it is showing the terminal name is the name of the terminal from where this command is executed and the time for which the process is executed okay so bash is the name of the shell from where we are executing this command and the id of that bash is 3849 and we have issued the command ps so it is there okay 
so we will have the next command ps minus f this is executing uh, and giving us the full listing of the process uh, command with the parent process identification number now the bash pa parent of the bash process is the uh, linux root okay so it is giving the ppid of that process and ppid of the ps minus f is the bash so the bash id will be here in in the command line of the uh, ps minus f option okay now we will have the next command with the next option that is ps U. This will give the detail listing of the processes of the users and if we have the ps minus u srb this will give me the uh, processes that are executed by the u user srb ok. Now we will have the ps command with minus a option. So this is the ps command which will give us the uh, only the user processes ok and if we want to check the system processes also at that time we will give the minus e option so from here you can see that there are many system processes executed and some user processes are there that is the bash and ps these are the two user processes ok so this is all about the ps command now we will have the slip command slip command is creating the uh, slipping the uh, your system so slip now here I will perform the slip for 10 seconds and after that the ps so from here you can check that the ps command will be executed after 10 seconds ok so we will get the output after 10 seconds also we can have the ps command slip command along with the any other command so slip suppose 15 you can take any uh, delay any time you can write there that much time it will wait so i will write the next command dead command so dead command will be executed after 15 seconds so we will get the output So we got the output. Now suppose we have the echo command. Echo dollar dollar. This will give us the um, the PID of the root user. Okay. After that we can execute our exit command. This will exit the our login shell. Now suppose I will click this. This will exit from the screen. So this is the exit command execution. Our shell that particular shell from where we are executing our command that is co close ok now these are the questions which are related to this particular practical uh, that you need to solve and uh, thank you